All right, Capricorn, welcome in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, this is for you, February 2024. Um, in the extended, I will take a closer look at the astrology of February, so we can talk more about that. Let's see what the reading brings, and then um, maybe I'll expand on what's in the extended. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see what's going on for you. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So... With that being said, jealousy. What is going on, Capricorn? Jealousy, boundaries. What in the world? Okay, transmute. Uh, some of you have a relationship going sideways right now. Okay, and it's meant to do that. It's meant for you to learn. Um, you might be dealing with someone who is a snake, <laughs> a snake, uh, someone who is manipulative, someone who is trying to push your buttons. Okay. You should know that this person is, has jealous, jealousy issues. Um, if you're dealing with a narcissistic partner, that's one of the ways they show up. Okay. Um, they don't, they, um, here's a, a little way to tell is if they're always asking you about where you're going, if they're, you know, they make you feel like you can't go out with your girlfriends or your best buddies or something like that. Um, of course it, if it's like excessive and you never are home, then that's another thing. But this is just like normal hanging out with your friends. Uh, if this person is, is, um, really after you because of it, some of you are, um, going to run away from this person. Some of you are like, you know what? I can't take this. I can't take this. Um, for others of you that may not be resonating with that, I do feel like there are some people around you who are jealous of what you do, uh, how you carry yourself, how you, um, you know, at work or in your life. And I just feel like there's you're going to need to be better at self-protection. I mean, Capricorn, you guys are usually pretty impervious to this kind of stuff, which is why I'm wondering why it's showing up here. Okay. Um, usually you're not the jealous type and the people you're with usually aren't the jealous type. Uh, but this is, this seems like it's breaking through. There could be a, oh, okay. Two, the two of pentacles, the strength card, the six of wands, the eight of cups. Some of you have a work wife or a work husband chariot could be a cancerian. All right. Yeah. There's two people here. You're dealing with two people, one at work and one at home, six of pentacles. You see how you're feeding two people here. All right. Also, uh, here's your card devil energy and the three of pentacles, which is another, you know, um, I think you're in control of this. I think you're the one who, you know, you're not the one who's odd man out. You are the one who has two people. Okay. If that doesn't resonate for you, um, then this might not be your reading. Uh, I feel like there's a sense of, um, which direction should I go? Now, for some of you, this could be a, a couple of job offers or a couple of opportunities that are is showing up in February, and it's going to kind of force you into one or the other. Now, um, there may be more than two choices, many choices, many choices showing up. Uh, I think other people are a little bit jealous of this. Okay, you got a lot going on here. Here's the star card, Aquarius energy showing up. We're going to talk about the Aquarius um, astrology, the uh, February astrology and the extended, like I said. And Venus and Mars play a big role in um, February. So the star and the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Most definitely, look at, look at you, beauty queen. And then there's, you've got two suitors or multiple suitors. Multiple people after your attention. Seven of cups. <coughs> Why so jealous? Right. Okay. You're going to have to make a choice here. You're going to have to make a choice. So this has to do with how do you feel about these people? Two of swords, five of swords. Oh my word. Knight of pentacles. Okay. So be careful. 
be careful that you don't you don't let this kind of continue on. All right, Th this reading is coming up for a reason. It's time for you to make a choice. The lover's card. Uh, I know it might feel good to have multiple people kind of vying for your attention. I'm seeing there's three knights here, so there could be three people. Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Cancer. I, feel, I get that you're totally in control of this. But this five of swords, I, I think you're, you're dealing with people who are a little volatile. Okay, the knight of wands and the knight of swords. Um, I think you're dealing with people that you, you know, you're not out of your league here. Um, but I think you're not appreciating adequately enough what jealousy does to people. Okay, let me clarify the jealousy a little bit more. Let me clarify the jealousy a little bit more. Six of Swords, Page of Cups, Three of Swords. I keep getting you may be left with none. If you don't, if you don't take some kind of action to go in the direction of your heart, true. Uh, I feel like all the all this embarrassment of riches could just go away. All right, Page of Swords. Um, I feel like people are paying attention to you right now because you have some kind of air of mystery around you with this Seven of Cups, some kind of um, mystique, very romantic kind of feeling. Like you can't be pinned down. You're a little mercurial, which is not really, not really what Capricorn is known for. But I will say to you that since we have this Venus and Mars playful thing happening in Aquarius, Aquarius is the next sign over to you. It's a semi, um, a semi sextile and it's only third, it's the ne very next sign. And usually what happens when there's a lot of activity in a sign that's right next to yours, either Sagittarius or um, Aquarius is that there's like a, an, uh, like a feeling of, I hate you. Okay. There's like this sense of Capricorn looks at Aquarius and goes, you're totally ungrounded, you know? And then Aquarius looks at Capricorn and says, do you think you could get your head up out of the details for two seconds to see the big picture? And after a while, there becomes a grudging respect for that sign, for that energy. And so we're in Aquarius time. Uh, February is largely Aquarius till we move into Pisces later on around the 18th, 19th of the month. Um, and Aquarius is a little new age. Okay. A little new wave. This is Aquarian energy and it's the water bearer, right? The water bearer. She's carrying these two, um, these two, I don't know, vessels of water. And it's like, it's not her, her heart. It's, the two of cups, right? It's the two of cups. It's, it's, which should I choose? Should I choose this or choose that? And I feel like there's a very different experience that comes with each of these choices. Got a lot of choices here. Um, the, je the jealousy piece could, it can be about other people wanting you to just decide because we're sick of hearing about it all the time. <laughs> so there's a little bit of that, but there's also a little bit of, um, of uh, ego, a whiff of ego and that like wounded ego about like, I like the attention or I'm getting a lot of attention. This could be one of the people you're dealing with, that they want attention. They are wanting to kind of gin this up. They may know that there's more than one person that's after you and they might be in the fray just to make it interesting, right? Like they're not really coming after you or wanting you to be in a relationship with them. They just want to um, uh, manipulate everybody. They just want other people to be crazy about it, to be crazy about this. And uh, I don't think they know how powerful <laughs> they are or you are. I feel like you have a tendency or a capability to kind of be cool under pressure, which is awesome here. Some of you, this is vying for 
career options. You may have a lot of options coming up in February, a lot of choices to be made. And if you wait too long, one or two of those options could disappear, right? Like um, if you get a couple of job offers on a Friday and one of them says, look, we really need to know by a week from today. And you're kind of just like enjoying having all these options and Friday comes and goes, the next Friday comes and goes. And that that's off the table. They they were for real. OK, there's also an opportunity that may show up that is like a time based opportunity, which is like um, like they have you at the interview even. And they say, OK, we're going to offer you the job right now. Here's the salary. You got 30 seconds. I would highly recommend that you don't take stuff like that, because the only reason someone's pressuring you whether it's romantic or it's career, is because if you leave that room, you might have a second to think. I don't, it usually is not in your benefit to move quickly. And I think Capricorn, you know that better than anybody. Okay, so there's a sense of being slow about things, but just know there's a consequence to that, that some of the opportunities may disappear. So, but that's okay right? That's okay. If a love op opportunity doesn't wait around enough to get to know you or to, you know, really be um, kind of investigating, is this good for me? You're probably better off that that person left the building. Okay. Um, I feel almost like you're going, like you have some options that are initially very attractive but over time become less and less attractive. All right. Anything more on this jealousy? Anything more on this jealousy? Four of wands, nine of cups, queen of swords, and the high priestess. Uh, wow. Okay. There's one option, option, opportunity, option here that's outstanding. Do you know which one it is? Because you cannot make this choice from, you cannot see who this person is with your eyes or with your um, traditional senses. You're going to need to uh, activate some intuition here. And I do feel like when you do that, you're going to know which of these people, which of these options is the not good one. Okay. You may have a ton of passion with somebody. They may be someone who likes to fight all the time. And you're kind of like, yeah, no, but there's an initial real pull to this person. Now, sometimes, um, sometimes I talk about relationships, uh, that show up in your life that feel familiar. If you haven't done some of the work of your childhood and understanding your own um, wounds and your own um, experiences from childhood, familiar may or may not be a good thing. Okay. So there's likely somebody here who you have a tremendous sexual pull toward uh, lots of passion, lots of power in this relationship. This person could be a Plutonic partner, meaning someone who is aligned with Pluto, uh, a transformative person in your life, but it's from shadow, right? It's dredging up some kind of, some kind of lesson for you to really heal and learn from. So it's not that the, they're nine of swords there. It's not that that's bad necessarily, um, and it's not like, oh, I avoid all those situations because I don't really think you're meant to avoid them. I think in this instance, you might choose the person that feels the most powerful to you. And there's a lot to transmute. There's a lot to um, work with in terms of what this person brings up for you. This is not a superficial relationship. Um, it may look on the outside to others, very passionate, very sexy, very powerful, very dynamic, and that can inspire jealousy 
in some people, um, especially ones that aren't getting chosen because they're kind of boring. Knight of Pentacles. Um, but the person that doesn't have a lot of zhuzh for you um, may or may not be the right choice. It's not just like, oh yeah, go for the boring one. Uh, <laughs> what it is, is you're going to need to understand why these options, these people, these job opportunities are so um, dynamically powerful for you. What's the draw? What's the lesson? And what's the pull? And you'll be better off making a choice. Now, that may take you time. If one of these choices is time oriented, you know, it might go away. But I promise you, if this lesson that they represent is meant to be learned, maybe the lesson is you've got to you've got to move a little faster with how you're evaluating things. Maybe that's just the lesson. Magician, how are you co-creating with the universe? King of Swords. Oh, I like this. King of Swords, Knight of Cups. How are you co-creating with the universe? Judgment. There's a clarity, a, a real sense of clarity that's coming through this particular time period. All right. So I'm going to continue on with this. I'll look at the um, astrology of February and I will pull cards for each zodiac sign to see who you're dealing with. But there's a certain awareness that you can, it's not one size fits all. You cannot have the same process in evaluating people. Now, you may say as a Capricorn, well, that's the baseline. If I evaluate everybody the same, then I'm going to see the ups and downs of the other person. All right, that's valid. But I feel like some of the, if, if you're doing that and you're adding, so it's not either or, it's also, it's and, both have your process about how you think about this, but then add in um, looking at the person's soul contract with you, okay? I feel like that's a very strong way of evaluating things. And um, it is astrology. I am gonna teach a class later this month about Chiron. Your Chiron in your birth chart is, a, is your soul contract. And when you look at it with another person, it's the soul contract you have together. All right, so I'm going to continue on with this reading. There's a link below if you want to continue on with me. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos. <laughs>